All right, we're going to do a little walk around video on this 2010 Keystone Fusion model 302. It's going to be kind of a quick video. We ended up getting snow here and it's freezing cold. So there's some mechanicals I'm not going to test on it. Um, I'll update the video next week when it warms up and I can show you how everything works. But this one will go through and, and show you all the features on it. This was actually my personal toy hauler last year, um, so I know everything works on it. I uh, was real happy with it, but we're downsizing now. We have uh, kids moved away, and we aren't really hauling as much stuff. So, um, That being said, you can see it has a large power awning on the side. Built-in generator, power landing gear. Two doors, front door to the main living area, rear door to the garage. It's got a 10-foot garage on it, aluminum wheels. The rear ramp door is actually power. That's pretty cool. It's one of the only toy haulers I've ever had that had a power rear door. It does have a fuel station on the side here. Privacy glass on the windows. Awnings over the slide outs. 50 amp electrical service. 10 gallon gas electric water heater. Docking lights in the front. Again, I know this is a kind of a quick video, but it's freezing out here. Uh, it's got an inverter, um, shop vac. It's currently winterized, but hopefully within the next uh, week or two that it's gonna change. Overall, it's in good shape for the year. I mean, keeping in mind it's 14 years old now. But when you first walk in, you see it's got patio doors that separate the garage. Huge seating area here. Bedroom up front. Your control panels right when you walk in. Generator's only got 140 hours on it, so it must have mostly been hooked up to a 50 amp service. We only used it a couple times so we don't get away too much. I love the fridge in it. Lots of extra room. See the shelves kind of rusted up a little bit over winter. Coming into the back, it has two Happy Jack beds. And the bottom bed also, as you can see here, changes into a table. So it makes for a great seating area when the door is down. Um, it's piped for washer and dryer hookups. Storage in the garage here. 10 foot storage, I'm sorry, 10 foot garage. Tie downs in the floors. Try to show you the ceiling. Uh, two air conditioners, one back here, you can't see it because it's above the bed. One in the main central living area. Storage compartments in the floor here. Um, floor was a little soft in this corner right here, but we kind of see that a lot with toy haulers because if it starts raining when the garage door is down or the ramp door is down. Uh, ventilation, or vents over here and back in that corner there. Helps draw the fumes away when you're towing. Power awning. This thing cools really nice. Once we used it last year and had to be 100 degrees out and it stayed nice and cool in here. Bathroom. Shower. Uh, one glass does have a crack in it here. You can see the fabric is starting to flake. That's not uncommon for the year or for the age. Try to get 
give you a shot from this angle here. All right, that should be about it. Like I said, we'll have an updated video next week if it's still available. Try to show you how to use everything and how everything works. And hopefully as snow's melted, we'll get up on the roof and show you that, but that's all good. All right, that's it.